Hey guys, it's PC Cool Kid. Happy Fourth of July. Today I'm gonna be working on a video that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, as you can see by the title of my video, it's how to install Ubuntu through a program called Wubi. Um, now I've known about this program for a really long time. I just haven't worked my way around to make the video. And um, on another note, I'm sorry I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Uh, if you check my blog out, you'll know why. Um, but basically, you can install Wubi um, through this website right here. I'll put it in the video description for you. And basically, you just click on download now. And what Wubi is, it installs Ubuntu um, on your computer without a disk or an ISO image. So it installs it just like an application. Um, it's definitely the easiest and probably the fastest way to install uh, fastest because you don't have to wait for your disk to get there and because you don't have to download um, an ISO image um, so it's really quick um, so here's Ruby here's the application we'll open it now and we'll click on run just wait for it to open up and here it is um, it looks basically just like the regular Ubuntu installer um, but it's with no CD or an ISO image, um, so it's really neat. Um, basically, uh, you can install it on a drive. Um, you can do it on any drive uh, that you have. If you don't really want to put it on your C drive, um, then you can partition your C drive into making a new drive. Uh, I made a video on that here. I'll put this link in the video description for you as well. Um, but you can put it on your C drive and it won't overwrite your C drive. That's the best part. It doesn't overwrite your C drive, it makes a dual boot configuration. So it automatically lets you keep your current operating system while still having Ubuntu. So if you put it on your C drive, it'll allocate as much space as you want. You can go up to 30 gigs, um, but I probably just recommend using 20 gigs. Um, probably 10 to 20 uh, it depends how much you think you're gonna use it um, so let's say 15 um, that will allocate 15 gigabytes of space onto a virtual disk for Ubuntu um, there are many languages that you can install it on uh, you can put in a username and your password and the desktop environment now there's Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Xubuntu and Mythbuntu um, basically these are just different operating systems if you don't really know about them google them see what you like best but I'd say the most user friendly is definitely Ubuntu um, if you want it for entertainment uh, I'd use Mythbuntu um, but definitely um, user friendly Ubuntu wins um, there's accessibility for the hearing and visual impaired um, they have mobility aids and visual aids so I'm not gonna use any of those because I'm fine click on next and um, here you type in your password. Now I'll just type in random password and that will basically be it. I'll click on install and it's just going to download exactly like this. Now I'm not going to download it because I don't really use Ubuntu. Um, but it takes some time. It'll take probably an hour and a half to two hours just to do this. Um, it puts the Ubuntu drive in your C drive. Uh, as you see right here. Now when you're in Ubuntu, uh, you don't see your C drive, you just see your Ubuntu drive, which is all this. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to cancel this because I'm not going to install it. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen after. Now after seeing how I can't really record my screen um, because I don't have a camera to record it with, um, it's just going to give you two choices. It's going to say Windows XP or Ubuntu. You just go on Ubuntu and it'll just go through a really kind of long um, process of just installing it further um, which will take probably about 20 minutes and then you can just jump right in type in your username type in your password and you're ready to go all right so happy fourth of july guys thanks for watching my video